Hello everyone. My name is Chef Didar Singh, Assistant Professor, Chitkara School of Hospitality. In this session, we will discuss about the characteristics of cake. When we discuss about the characteristics of cake, we discuss it on two parameters. The first one is the external characteristics, which includes volume, color of the crust, symmetry of form, and character of crust. The first and the foremost external characteristic is volume. It is rather difficult to set standards for volume of cakes, which will vary according to the different types of cakes and also according to the consumer preference. However, the cakes should not have a pinched appearance and should not appear overextended too. A well risen cake will have a pleasing appearance with slight convex top surface. Although the relative weight of a particular volume of cake will differ in different types of cakes, but a cake should not appear too small or too large for its weight. The next external characteristic is color of the crust. The crust should have a pleasing golden brown color, too dark or too light or dull color is not desirable. Crust must have a uniform color free from dark streaks or sugar spots or even grease spots. The next is a symmetry of form. Cakes should have a symmetrical appearance. Peaking, low sides, sunken or high center burst, caved in bottom or uneven top are undesirable characteristics of cakes. The last external characteristic is the character of crust. Crust of a good cake should be thin and tender, thick, rubbery, sticky or over moist, too tender, tough or blistery crust is indicative of poor quality of cakes. The second parameters while discussing the characteristics of cake are the internal characteristics which include texture, grain, color of the crumb, aroma and taste. The first internal characteristic is texture. Texture denotes the pliability and smoothness of the crumb as felt by the sense of touch. It depends on the physical condition of the crumb and the type of grain. A good texture is soft and velvety without weakness and should not be crumbly. Rough, harsh, too compact, lumpy or too loose texture is not desirable. The next internal characteristic is the grain. The grain is the structure formed by the extended gluten strands including the area they surround. Grain will vary according to the type of cake. However, uniformity of the size of the cell and thin cell walls are desirable qualities. Coarseness, thick cell walls, uneven size of the cells, large holes and tunnels are indicative of poor grain. Grain should not be too open or too close. The next internal characteristic is the color of the crumb. Crumb should have a lively, lustrous and uniform color. It should be free from any streaks or dark patches. Gray, non-uniform, dark, light or dull color of the crumb will be undesirable. The next internal characteristic is aroma. Aroma of good cake should be pleasant, rich, sweet and natural. It is not desirable to have any foreign aroma, that is, aroma not produced by normal ingredients of the cake. Flat, musty, strong or sharp aroma is indicative of poor quality of the cake. The last but not the least, the internal characteristic is the taste. Taste of cake should be pleasant, sweet and satisfying. 
cakes should not leave any unpleasant after taste in the mouth should not have a bland taste and should also not have any foreign taste that is taste which cannot be acquired by the use of normal ingredients of the cakes use of excessive salt or soda will also adversely affect the taste thank you so much for listening